What is with that smirk? This thing's crazy! That's interesting. He looks incredible. That's just crazy. That is very cool. That's actually a uh, studio series I can get behind. It's very cool. This is one that a lot of people have been looking for. New market, uh, gonna check the Toys R Us again and see if there's anything new. Wish me luck. It's good to see this place. Love that, love that logo. That logo is classic. All right, ooh, check it out. Holy crap, look how many blue streaks they have here. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are eight blue streaks here. That is crazy. Ah, grapple. Poor grapple. Yeah, three grapples here. No sun streaks though. Crazy. Oh. Yeah, but he's specifically marked down as not on sale, unfortunately. Yeah, no sun streaker. That's unfortunate. Oh wow, they still have two Scorponox. Crazy. Good to see you. Hello. Wow, it's been a while since I've seen these. Let's check it out. It's the individual seekers. That's uh, Thundercracker. Wow, they got a ton of him here. I wonder if they just open up the warehouse and <laughs> pretty much spill everything out. Just whatever's left. Yeah, there are a ton of Earth uh, Cybertron Siege Thundercrackers. What is with that smirk? Man, that is one weird ass smirk. Very odd. Hey, check it out. Hiding back here. Hey, it's gung ho. Huh. Again, weird place to have found him. But I think that's about it, unfortunately. Yeah, a lot of things on clearance right now, but nothing I'm really interested in, unfortunately. Yeah, so Transformers Generation Deluxe are on sale for $23.97. However, Deluxe Smokescreen is not. He is still on tour for $29.99. But there's a ton of him here. So if anybody's looking for a smokescreen, he's up here at the new market, Toys R Us. Along with a bunch of Ultra Magnuses, Shockwaves, and Astro Trains. Oh, we also got the Skylinks too. Cool. Should have mentioned, check out all of the, I really think they actually found a new warehouse and actually just opened everything. They have Megatron here from Siege. Ape Face, Starscream, holy crap, just a ton of these guys. And even Soundwave, where were you guys when the sale was on for 60%? My God. <sighs> anyway, it is what it is, I guess. Cool. Oh, wait a second, what's this? Wow, check it out. It's a Masterpiece Ratchet for the studio series. Movie series, sorry. I've never seen him. It's been a while. He looks pretty good, if you're into that. Cool. And then there's Autobot Jazz. Crazy. Oh, hello. Wait a second. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen Ravage and Laserbeak. Oh, man. If these guys were on sale, that would be mine. 12 bucks, though. I gotta think about it, but there's a lot of them here. If anybody's looking for Laser Beak and Ravage, they are here. Cool. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on with Galaxy's Edge, but they literally are shipping most of their products out here to Toys R Us locations. It is cool, don't get me wrong, but a little odd. These are all Galaxy Edge exclusive products here. Like, you can't buy these anywhere else, except except now, the Toys R Us. Cool. Yeah, for the Black Series, they do have Commander Pyre here. A whole bunch of them. Yeah. So if you're looking for anything from Galaxy's Edge, come check out New Market Toys R Us. Happening in the Star Wars section. They still got some of those 
trading post from Galaxy's Edge lightsabers. Kaiba crystals included. Honda Okana in the three inch line. And not too much more in the black series though. And there's that Rise of Skywalker speed tread speeder. Poe Dameron. Yeah, not much more else though, unfortunately. Yeah, your usual suspects here. Wedge Antilles, Luke Skywalker, Janna. You know, pretty much the same. Like I said, more of the Galaxy Post, the Galaxy's Edge Post stuff. There are those awesome hyper reels. Hopefully, they'll go back on sale again. There's that. Uh, oh wow, an actual Mission Fleet Millennium Falcon. Don't see that very often. Comes with the tiny little Han Solo. Oh, that's cute. Crazy. Uh, here are a few more. The Jedi, the First Order trooper, the Jet trooper. That's wicked. There's that uh, Imperial Pro Droid. Wow, they got a ton of these carbon freezing chambers. If anybody's looking to uh, pay double, <laughs> 120 bucks, sorry, 150 bucks for uh, two carbon freezing chambers, you can pick them up here at the New Market uh, Toys R Us. Whoa, what the heck is that? It's the black lightsaber. Oh my God, Clone Wars weapon, crazy. Insane. Oh. This thing's crazy. Can even turn it on. Neat. The black lightsaber. Clone Wars weapons. Very cool. They got Kylo Ren's. Rays. Not bad. Not bad. Bunch of helmets too. Always good to see. Yeah, there's that uh, incinerator stormtrooper. I do like the way he looks. Cool. Let's uh, let's move on. It was cool to see the my Mighty Morphin Power Rangers section or Power Rangers Lightning Collection. Dino Charge Black. It's funny. I hear people are having a hard time finding him in the states, but we have like a ton of them up here. Beast Morpher Cyber Villain Blaze, as always. Oh, there's that Red Ridger helmet. It's still calling my name. And of course that Power Rangers Zeo Megazord. Yeah. Larger Rangers. The Beast Morpher Beast X Mega Bow. Oh, wait. Yeah, Megazords. Tyrannosaurus Rex, pretty much the only one. He oh, nope, there's Mastodon and Pterodactyl. And do we have a complete set? Yes, we do. Triceratops and Sabertooth Tiger. So they have one complete set here and an extra, extra Tyrannosaurus. So if you guys are looking for them, they're here at the New Market Toys R Us. Cool. Oh, I do love this Batman Who Laughs figure from McFarland Toys. He looks incredible. That's just crazy. Nightwing, Batgirl, Wonder Woman, both versions, Harlequin, the Green Lantern, he looks awesome. I love that, that new weapon he's concocted. Multiple Batman, of course, and Superman. Always great to see. All right, let's go to the next section. We do have the Professor X and Magneto 2-pack. Captain Marvel, Grey Gargoyle, Talos, Rock Python, Nighthawk, Loki. Wow, it's the Union Jack. That's hilarious. Oh, cool. There's that, uh, the unbeatable Squirrel Girl. I gotta learn more about her. Here we go. It's the Infinity War, Winter Soldier, and, Mal and Falcon 2-pack. That looks cool. And the Infinity War Loki and Corvus Glaive. Very nice. Hey, there's Blink. And Chikla. Very cool. I haven't seen Blink in a while. Uh, there's Ragnarok Scourge and Hela. Cool. It's Toxin. Wow. He looks crazy. Oh, that's insane. There are two of them here. 
Apocalypse, War Machine, a ton of War Machine, and of course a ton, and I do mean a ton of Black Widow movie figures. Uh, uh, then we have a Domino, Mystique of course, and Stanley. Yeah, they got a bunch of him. We should get our hands on one of these guys. I'm pretty sure one day it'll go up in price. If these ever drop in price, <laughs> I am going to pick them up. I do love the way they look. The Infinity Gauntlets and Power Gauntlets. Crazy. There's that Deadpool talking head. I still don't get it. And the Marvel, un sorry, the Uncanny X-Men classic figures. Storm, Beast, pretty much nothing but storms here, and nothing but beasts. Holy crap, <laughs> that's a lot of beasts and a lot of storms. Cool, Mysterio. Seen him a couple times, but not very often. Again, try finding, there's Electro, try finding Peter, Par Peter sorry, try finding Spider-Man in the wild. Nearly impossible. All right, and a bunch of other cool figures, but not too much else. So, hello, there is that giant kingpin for 50 bucks. Crazy. And you have a few Marvel Selects. There's a Spider-Man. I found one. <laughs> Packaging's a bit damaged, though. And, of course, there's the Iron Man helmet. Always cool to see along with Captain America Shield. Awesome. I think that's about it. Let's get going to the next uh, location. We come into the uh, Upper Canada Mall and just randomly I noticed something kind of interesting. Oh, this is interesting. It's platform nine and three quarters. Part of the Wizards Emporium. That's interesting. So is this the Wizards Emporium now? I think it is. We're gonna have to take a look. What do we have here? Check it out guys. The Wizards Emporium. We've been expecting you. Muggle capacity is 45. Cool. I never even heard of this. That is awesome. It's a bit odd with the Chinese pagoda treatment, but I wonder if they just occupied a new place. This is crazy. You know what, I'm, let's go inside. Let's find out what it's like. Cool. It's platform nine and three quarters. There's Hedwig and Harry's bags on a trolley. That's neat. Right, let's have a look inside. Wow! Holy crap! Okay, I wasn't even expecting this at all. That's really cool. Yeah. There's Malfoy. Very cool. A whole bunch of memorabilia. Apparel that you can buy. Slytherin pride. Wow, a Slytherin backpack <laughs> with the official Hogwarts crest. That's crazy. Ambitious. Oh, Weasley Wizards Weezes. Weezes. <laughs> cool, it's a diorama. Check it out, it's a full raincoat. Slytherin gear. Oh, wow, that's cool. That is awesome. Check out this goblet. Wow. What a chalice. Okay, I'm scared to turn it over and find out how much it costs. Oh, 60 bucks. Still pretty cool. That is awesome. Slytherin, Slytherin. I do love the, uh, <laughs> all the preppy apparel. 
Wow, check out the cups. Those are cool. I wonder if these are all part of the Noble Collection. Baseball caps, ugly sweaters. I don't know what that is exactly, but Hogwarts Battle. Oh, here's a full Snape statue. And Ollivander, Ollivander's shop. That is really cool. Yeah, very cool stuff indeed. Wow, who knew this was even here? I sure, I sure as heck didn't. Oh, look, it's Ravenclaw. So, fun fact. Ravenclaw's animal is not a raven. It's an, it's an eagle. <laughs> I do love these chalices. These chalices are incredible. They have what look like sapphires. Oh man, that is awesome. For 60 bucks? That is very cool. Looks like pewter. That is a great Christmas gift. Awesome. Yeah, not that much Raven gear, gear, Raven claw gear compared to Slytherin, that's for sure. Still, it's amazing to see. Look, it's Harry and his broom playing a game of Quidditch. Man, it must be fun to work here. <laughs> and of course, here we go Gryffindor. Ah, oh, this one's Hufflepuff. I do love these goblets. These goblets are incredible. Yep, they're all basically 60 bucks. Still, great looking stuff. You never know, I actually, might actually pick one up. Wow, it's an entire Hogwarts diorama. Holy cow. The burrow's here too. Okay. This is a dangerous place for me. <laughs> Incredible. Oh, they have other things here which aren't exactly Harry Potter related, but still very nice to look at. Crazy. Unfortunately, we can't stay in here forever. I might have to come back one another time because some of the stuff is amazing. There's a McGonagall statue, Hermione, there's ha ha Hagrid with Norbert. There's that Harry Potter Quidditch and Malfoy. Yeah, there's way more of this uh, store, but unfortunately I can't stay here all day. <laughs> I'll have to come back again. I could have spent two hours in that Hogwarts um, Wizards Emporium. That was nuts. I can't even believe they have something like that here in the mall. Uh, gonna go check out EB Games because I think there's something there that we, uh, we're looking for. Wish me luck. This Batman is crazy. Oh, it's Azrael. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I recognize him. He's so black. <laughs> can barely see what he looks like. That is crazy. Oh, wow. So it's hard to find this flash. Um, yeah, he's pretty rare. That's pretty cool. There's that Joker again. Awesome to see him. Yeah, it looks like they've refreshed a couple of their stocks. And there is the Batman Who Laughs, but this one includes a Build-A-Figure. Very cool. Oh, wow! Okay, sorry. Check it out. All right, it's Robin Earth 22. This is one that a lot of people have been looking for. This is crazy. He looks good. Oh wow, that's crazy. Actually, they got a, a, a few of them here. Look, there's the Superman. Wow, these guys look nuts. That's crazy. Cool to see these guys in the wild. I didn't think I'd, didn't think I'd have the opportunity. Very, very cool. So if anybody's looking for these, they are at the New Market, EB Games. 
they're cool. Happened to look up and see these guys. So, here's Garazeb Aurelius. Very cool to see him in the wild. Don't see him very often. And they also have a ton of Django Fets up there. And they have Darth Nihilus. A whole bunch of him too. Very cool. Again, this is the New Market EB Games. Awesome. Stuff up here. Domino. Yeah. Canadian Wolverine, as I like to call him. Lightning Collection White Ranger. There's Mystique, Lucio, Boom Boom. Oh, cool. IG 11. Very cool to see him in the wild. Rebel Soldier from Hoth, Luke Skywalker, Johnny Silverhand. Wow, there's that Chitara I saw the other day from the Thundercats Savage World and Monkeyan. There's that Warhammer 4000 40k Astaris. Very cool to see him. Another Darth Vader. Another Django Fett. Oh, good to see my, uh, Michelangelo for the video game version. Infamous Iron Man. Very cool. Katana, regular one, and Baraka, Doomslayer, yeah, Michelangelo, hey look at this, it's Blue Streak, holy crap, he's only $26.99 here, that is awesome, alright I guess he's coming back with us, very very cool, thank you, thank you Cor, really appreciate that. And there's the Negasonic and Deadpool 2-pack. Very cool. There's also the Raider Repulsa and Lord Zed 2-pack. And the Wolverine and Hulk first appearance. Very cool. Let's see if there are any other Transformers that are hiding around. Cool to see Blue Streak in the wild. Awesome. And the Wall of Pops. Ah, oh, the Wall of Pops. All right, the, the game continues. Let's see, we have Endeavor. Wow, we have Endeavor here. That's an interesting pop. What do you guys think? All right, on to the next one. Nothing else here for the most part. There's that ratchet I saw the other day. <coughs> oh, that's kind of cool, who's this? Raider. Wow, he looks neat. That's actually a uh, studio series I can get behind. It's very cool. Was he in, in the movie? I don't even remember him. Crazy. Brawl and Drift. That's about it though. Uh, there's that uh, Counterforce Alpha Strike pack that we saw. Alright, I think we're going to have to ask the, for, at the front if there are any Quintessons. Alright, let's head out. Uh, brown boxes, I wonder who's in them. This one's Grease Pit. Okay, I don't know anybody who's named Grease Pit. Uh, what are these? Generation Selects. Bug Bite. Bug Bite? Wait, Bug Bite is... Isn't Bug Bite a white bumblebee? Yep. What the hell? Crazy. Okay, uh, I might have to come back here. I don't know much about Bug Bite, but that sounds kind of cool. Neat. If anybody's looking for Bug Bite, there are two of them here, along with Grease Pit. Studio Series Bumblebee here. And uh, unfortunately, this one in particular has a, <laughs> a beat up box. Now that's not part of the deco, that's actually the box. But if you open him up, he does not look too bad actually. He looks pretty cool. He's got the mixtape that uh, she had, and yeah, it's a very cool beetle.
I'd love to see the alt mode, the the robot mode though. That would be neat. Cool. Okay, so that was cool. Picked up Blue Streak. Whew. Uh, we just happened to be in New Market, so it was a good idea to come check this out. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please do leave me a like. It really does help me out. If you have any comments or suggestions on where should we go to next, please leave that in the comment section below. And consider subscribing as it helps YouTube to realize I'm doing a good job and you guys enjoy my work. Well, guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. Deep proud.